like your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy morning everyone this is Akwele Babs here if you're new here I would love you to stay and if you're a returning subscriber thank you once again for tuning in now today is Sunday and we just got to church you know when Akwele is, is in church early she wants everyone to know that and then you're about asserting them <laughs> so yeah um today is Sunday and we are in church now um we hope we have a lovely service and a wonderful service and be blessed today and uh, yeah Today's memory verse will be taken from Psalm 107 verse 1 and it and I read and I quote it says give thanks to the Lord. So if today you are awake and you are alive having I mean the strength I'm reminding you this is a gentle reminder that you should be giving thanks to the Father the God of the universe who has given you another life today. Stay blessed and I hope to see you later. Bye. Mwah. Right thing might not be the right way to go. So it is important that whenever we want to ask the Lord for something, that we go into prayer, prayer time. We bring a petition before the Lord, and then we are thankful for what He has already already done that you haven't seen. Pray that as we have understood now how we can pray to God. And to receive an answer from him, that we will take note and do what we must do as we have been instructed. For the Lord said what? Trust in him. Trust in him. Trust in him. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. beautiful people so I just finished church we just you know finished and I just wanted to share uh, the word of God today with you it was very powerful by one of my favorite girls Ashley God richly bless you today for the word of God you know my soul is the food that was given to me today had made me satisfied and I'm so I mean happy and blessed today and, and I hope this blesses you so um so the topic today was the lord will remember you and the word of god was taken from matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 12 and that's one of my favorite bible verses also the word of god was taken from luke chapter 1 verses 5 to 19 philippi <laughs> It was also taken from Philippians chapter 4 verses 5 to 7 and uh, I'm just going to sum up the things that I learned and I you know wrote down in my notebook all right so to begin she made mention that we should not make any assumptions about people as you may not know what they are going through at that particular time and also we have to be we need to be open to have or place a request before the Lord. Derek, sit down, please. Request to, uh, to, we need to be open to place or have a request before the Lord. We should also learn to trust and obey the word of God and to obey God. And also when we are in a situation, we should rejoice. We should rejoice and we should rejoice. She also made mention that the Bible says that let's, your gentleness be evident. Let your gentleness be evident 
to all and that the Lord is near. And that was taken from Philippines chapter 4, verses 5 to 7. Also, we should learn to put the kingdom of God first and all other things shall be added unto us. And then she also made mention that whatever is in your hands, do your best. So whatever you are doing for the Lord, whatever you are doing in, on this earth, do it with all your heart. Do it willingly, but with your heart and do your best and that the Lord will bless you. She also made emphasize that do not let what the celebrities and the social media influence you in everything that you do or in your life because you do not know what they do behind closed doors. Celebrities can be called celebrities on earth or influencers on earth. However, they might be useless in heaven. And this is not to say that we are saying that they will not go to heaven. But, you know, um, most of these celebrities, you know, do whatever they want to do. They show it to you, what they want to show you. So you don't know what they are doing behind closed doors. So most of most of the youth of nowadays are being influenced by what they say and what they do especially through clothing through their you know appearance you know some people have dressed wearing gucci here and there and you don't even know how they got it and some of these young people would want to have it so they'll be like oh how I, I, uh, I also want to go and buy then they, they they end up by doing, you know, things that they are not supposed to do to get those things. So be vigilant and be very mindful of these celebrities that you follow on social media. Hey. She hey. also took the word of God from Luke chapter 1 verses 19 to 20. And then by ending, she said, do not let the enemy fool you. Keep knocking on God until he answers. Let your prayer be like a telephone call and this is where i underline let your prayer be like a telephone call and that let your prayer be to pers uh, persevere exactly and then for the last thing that she said never give up regardless of your situation so you may be going through bad things hardships and uh, you don't know what to do but just keep in mind today i'm here to remind you that the lord will remember you that do not give up and that things will get better from time to time so keep on praying keep on trusting in the lord keep on studying his word and the lord will surely come through for you all right so i'm just going to ask my husband what he learned today at church so he can also share his view of what he took home today so let's hear what he's going to say mr isibay what did you take home today from the word of god today the word of god that came was about the word of god that came was about you read matthew 7 from verse 7 ask and it shall be given unto you seek and you'll find knock and the door will be opened unto you and um our sister shared that um you know if obviously the bible says if we evil men um provide for our children if our children ask for bread we won't give them stones or if they ask for fish we won't give them snakes then God is all the more willing to provide for us or to answer our prayers when we ask Him. Um, so it's important that we ask. Um, and then she also shared that um, she gave an example of um, if you are really, really hard pressed, you know, to use the toilet or the, the loo, and somebody is, let's say you have one toilet by our bathroom and you really have to go um, there's a there's a way that you will knock on the door you know be trying to get the person out quickly so that you can you know make yourself easy so that's the same way we should be knocking um, you know we should be knocking with seriousness um, and God will definitely open the door to Mommy. us amen that's what I learned Mommy. Amen. So, yeah, that's also one or two takes from my husband what he learned today. I hope this message blesses someone today. So share the video, like this video, comment down below, and then if you've not subscribed yet, it's not too late to subscribe to join our family. We hope to see you next week by this time.
God bless you. Keep on spreading gospel. Keep on proclaiming the word of God. And then we will see you same time next week. Bye-bye.